Another common issue with getting a controller online is that the serial number, IP address, and download server are either missing or incorrect. To get the controller serial number, you can either look on the sticker on the side of the controller itself, or you can browse into the system settings on the uh, controller's user interface. First, you will open any internet browser, such as Google Chrome. Second, in the address bar, enter the exact IP address of your controller. In this case, it's 10.0.3.110. Click Enter. Next, enter your default username and password in the login page. The username is, by default is admin and the password by default is also admin. Click sign in. When you first get in, you'll get a warning to change the password. Uh, you can change your password at a later point, so you can just click no for now. Click on settings on the, towards the top of the main menu. Note older firmware may have a different look and display configuration instead of settings. In this case, click configuration if it's the older firmware. And in here, you'll notice that there's a field for your serial number. Highlight this number, copy it on your keyboard with Control C, minimize the browser, navigate back to your program, and then click on the serial number field on the right pane and paste the number you just copied with Control V. You'll also want to make sure to add your controller's IP address or change it if it is incorrect in the IP field. It should be noted that the IP address in this field is looking for your controller's IP, not your servers, your controllers. So I'm going to put 10.0.3.110. Finally, make sure that your download server dropdown has the default download server selected. This is already listed in the dropdown, so you should not have to do anything other than select it. Don't forget to click save on the top right in the main menu if everything else is configured correctly. Your controller should go online with last download succeeded.